To all Ultimate Universe fans, please take notice of this. We asked for the return of the Ultimate Universe. We didn't get it. This is a completely new universe that has nothing to do with the old one. In fact, there's very few similarities to the point where it's got nothing to do with it in any way, shape or form. That's not what we asked for. We wanted the return of Earth-1610. We wanted to see the return of Jimmy Hudson and James Howlett. And finally, them two could finally be father and son. We wanted to see closure on where the Ultimates were when they were hunting down the Maker clones. We didn't get that. We also wanted to see what the Maker could do with the Ultimate Venom symbiote that he got in Donny Cates' Venom. We didn't get any of that either. But for some reason, Hickman's just like, Hey guys, you guys over there in the main Marvel Universe, guess what? I'm going to make Peter Parker marry to Mary Jane like you guys asked for in 616. I know there's Ultimate Universe fans, but don't worry about them. We don't give them what they want. Even though they're the fans of this universe, we're, we're trying to replace them. We want to retcon everything that they like so they won't continue to read it. And we will give them a new, or we will get a new audience who will take on the mantle of the comic book buyer. And you have to do it because now we've basically just screwed up to the point where this has to work or this is going to fail. Because we've basically pissed off the Ultimate Universe fans. We need this new old, we need this new audience to save my dream. I just wanted to do my own universe, but I didn't want to give anything to the fans. That's that's Hickman. That's basically Jonathan Hickman. It's, I want to do what I want. I don't care about the fans of this continuity. I care about the main Marvel Universe fans. So please notice as well, all Ultimate Universe characters' origins have been retconned to be like 616 origins as well. So it's like, oh... You don't like the Ultimate Universe, you don't like us, but you want to cater to a completely different part of the community who are a part of a different continuity in the main Marvel Universe. Don't get it twisted. This is good news for main Marvel Spider-Man fans. Like, this is not good for Ultimate, the Ultimate Universe or Ultimate Spider-Man fans. It's like you do realise... Like, we know when the Maker went down to Earth-1610 with Venom, Ultimate Spider-Man was missing. So what happened to him? Are we ever going to know where he's at? No, because he's been retconned. So you've retconned everything that the Ultimate Universe fans liked, and you know that now. And now you're trying to harp on main Marvel Universe Spider-Man fans by doing the exact same thing they did to me with Ultimate Invasion. When they announced it, they showed off this poster with Mark Millar's The Ultimates on there. Not once are they a part of the story, not once do they look like that, and not once do they keep homage to those designs. Like Ultimate Thor, my favourite version of Thor, retconned his most distinctive attribute, his Ultimate Universe Hammer. And it's like, wow, we lose everything. The Ultimate Universe fans lose everything that they like about the Ultimate Universe. But the Spider-Man fans of the main Marvel Universe get everything they could have ever dreamed of. Mary Jane and Peter Parker being together. So it's like, yeah, now I see what game you're trying to play. You don't like the Ultimate Universe, Hickman, and you don't like the fans because you haven't given anything for the fans of the Ultimate Universe to enjoy. You've just retconned everything that they like and we like from the universe, and now you're trying to please main Marvel Universe fans to replace us instead. So I please, I'm going to say this now, please do not buy these new comic books. I will buy it for you. I, buy, I will buy it digitally and I will upload it for free so you can download the pages and read them off your device. I'm going to sort out a link. You should not have to pay for your universe to get retconned and basically watch us get replaced out of our own universe that we grew up and loved. Like, you, you know, it's like, wow, 
you're out here trying to like please like it's like being it's like being a stepchild like he's out here just catering towards his own child like out here we're out in the park and he buys his kids McDonald's and he basically watches us starve as he feeds his own kids. That's basically this situation here. It's like, nah, bro, that's a fucking piss take. How the hell are you going to do this but not do anything for the Ultimate Universe fans at all? Like, this is what we've been asking for in the main Marvel Universe. I wanted this in the main Marvel Universe. I didn't want this in the Ultimate Universe. And many people didn't want this in the Ultimate Universe because this didn't happen. It happened in the main Marvel Universe and then it got taken away. It's just the same as us. Things happened in the Ultimate Universe that we loved and we don't want to let go of. And it's being taken away. And now he's trying to please an audience who weren't even fans of the Ultimate Universe to begin with. Please don't buy these. Like, I will sort you out. I buy them. Well, the comics released before most of you guys. So I live in the UK. Most of my UK. Most of my um, audience is from the US. So I'll just upload it for free. Don't be out here buying this universe. Because it does not deserve to be supported. Because it's not catering to the fans of, of the universe. It's catering to people outside of it. And it's just nah. You can't be out here trying to replace me after I've repped the ultimate universe my whole life fam. We also have some other new information from ultimate universe. And we see this breakout of Asgardian prison. We see crappy Doctor Doom and crappy Iron Lad. And we see Thor. And we also see the generic 616 hammer. Like, stop trying to convince me into liking this, people. If you guys don't mind this, then why are you talking? You weren't even fans of Thor if it doesn't bother you. It does bother me because Ultimate Thor is my favourite version of Thor. And his axe, his battle hammer and axe, or aka Ultimate Mjolnir, was his hammer. I don't give a shit what Hickman likes. He's going to get violated until he changes this. So he could live for the rest of his life and never change it. I will continue to violate him until the day he dies and onwards. But anyway, we see Lady Sif. They fight, yada, yada, yada. Nothing important here. But... Like I said, like I, I just don't care anymore because this is not for the Ultimate Universe fans. This is basically trying to piss off the fans and trying to get them to basically stop being interested when Marvel needs people to buy comic books now more than ever. Really should have just waited on for Donny Cates. But other information is we have got the three new comic book titles... And I'm still not happy with this. So we got Ultimate Spider-Man by Jonathan Hickman. Ultimate X-Men by this woman called... changes um same with black book black panther that's already been radically changed so black panther is no longer going to be the silent um 
like assassin or like the mutant hybrid that was work or experimented on in the weapons plus program or weapon x program in the ultimate universe but still um the suit looks cool but you're you've changed everything like even ultimate moon knight who was actually one of my fa actually is my favorite version of moon knight i loved that suit but um yeah, so another one of my favourite characters from the Ultimate Universe is basically being retconned. But it seems like Ra and Konshu are actual people. Like, may, like I don't want people... Like, basically, what I don't want with Ultimate Moon Knight is to basically get a black guy being Moon Knight because of their bloody politics. Like, I don't want them to be doing shit like that. Like, just stick with the source material. Like, please, don't be making any unnecessary changes already, because this is just not going to work. Every time I see a change, every time I upload the comic and release it for free. But yeah. Um, that's really about it. Like, this is just not being handled the right way. Because it really does show, like, I've been watching multiple YouTubers' videos surrounding the topic and in the games industry. Like, I watch Tevia Smoker, I watch It Keeps It Real Comics, uh, I think it's Auto Comics as well, Braddock, Uno Comics, Thinking Critical as well. I watch a lot of him, actually, when I'm just finding a spliff. When I'm just playing with my fingers or I'm gaming, I just chill and just listen to him. But he's got a very good point. Like, Marvel knows who their audience is. It's just, they don't like them. They judge their customers and then wonder why they can't make any money. Because they're just so opposed by them politically. I know I don't know politics. I hate politics more than mayonnaise. And I despise mayonnaise. That's Satan's sperm. I don't give a crap what anybody says. That's how much I don't like it, yeah? I don't like politics. If you're a politician, you're a cunt. There's, like, there's no way you can walk or talk your way out of it. You are a professional cunt if you are a politician in my eyes. So now you know how much I despise it. I'm not an idiot. When I could clearly tell they just don't like the old school Marvel fan. They want to change the market. They want to change like who reads the comic books and it's like you don't have the power to make people like what you want them to like the way for you to make money is to give them what they want and unfortunately jonathan hickman is giving 616 spider-man fans what they want and has basically erased everything any ultimate universe fan wants to the point where you can no longer get it back. That is how much he has damaged the Ultimate Universe. He wants the title so he can make sales. He's using the title to lure people in who weren't paying attention to the lead up to the Ultimate Universe's return. He's undoing everything so people who didn't like the Ultimate Universe and just liked Ultimate Spider-Man would come back. But he didn't want to please the people who bought all of the comics from the Ultimate Universe. It's He doesn't want to cater to him because he just wants to do his own thing. And he doesn't give a fuck how badly he disrespects the source material. And he wants to basically replace us with Amazing Spider-Man fans and 616 fans. So in my protest I will be buying the comic digitally and I will post it on my community post or I'll post it on another YouTube channel so I don't get a strike for it. But either way, no, you should not have to pay for these for this new universe. It has not given us anything it, what we want and it's giving everything other people from other continuities from Marvel want. So that's what I've got to say for this video. If you want to read Ultimate Universe, you're covered. I will upload it soon for you, for you to read without having to watch my video. And you can do whatever it is you want with that. And for the rest of the comic book series of the Ultimate Universe as well. So yes, nobody has to pay for it digitally. If you want it physically, you can pay for it with your own money then. But anyway, thanks for watching. I am sorry 
I ranted again. I have made over 50 takes on this video. And unfortunately, I just can't stay calm. Because every time I try to make sense of these new changes, the more frustrated I get. I tried my best to not upload anything for two weeks, nearly three weeks now. And I just wanted to be like, yo, I want to calm down. I don't want to be making any more videos like this. But Marvel just seems to just stab me in the back, or all of the Ultimate Universe fans in the back multiple times and is twisting the blade and is telling us we deserve it. That's all I've got to say for this video. Peace.